It's just interesting of everything that our media focuses on and Anthony Weiner's laptop, we know so little, apart from just general in passing references to Hunter Biden, maybe, you know, obviously on Newsmax and on places that tell the truth still, but you know, on CNN, MSNBC, we're not going to hear that much, but you know, I've wondered over the years, like once in a while I'll be watching the news and they'll say, oh, there was a bust and they found, you know, a hundred children in this sex trafficking slave camp. The FBI got them and then that's it. And I'm just like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And they just referred to it for 20 seconds and then it's over. And I'm always wondering where is the... A very, you know, where is the one hour, two hour program of who these children were? Who stole them? How were they brought here? Did these people flip? Who did they reveal? It's very interesting and a bit sobering and telling how they just reference even these things, but they never ever get into it or tell us too much. Have you noticed that? Absolutely. And you know, I'm, I'm going to get biblical for a moment, if I may. Matthew 8, 6, uh, 18, 6. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. So we're a Judeo-Christian constitutional society. And in it, we have a couple examples, like the flipping over of the tables by Christ mm -hmm. when we defiled the sacred, right? And the other one is children. There's very few calls for like really strong uh, rebuke or really calling out. And our, our, we're getting farther and farther and farther away from that. I mean, I yeah. think I agree with you. Many high profile individuals knew of Epstein's exploitation of underage girls, yeah. provided children as service to friends and associates years before he was charged. In Hollywood, there's been sex cults, sex parties. It's not uncommon and yet there's silence. So you're yeah. absolutely correct. I think this is a bellwether moment for us to like yeah, get out, you know, get out there and, and punish um, Biden, uh, Hunter, but I'm just not even seeing it. Yeah, there's some kind of force from on top which suffocates and negates any kind of spotlight on what's happening to children. And you're absolutely right. Jesus reserved his, one of his greatest warnings for those that harm children. And we know that Satan is uh, very, very much focused on child sacrifice. He hates the innocence of children. And when we look at Islamic Jihad, when we look at Hitler and Stalin, when we look at these totalitarian regimes, now when we look at what's happening with this trans ideology of these drag queens, they don't dance in front of senior citizens at old age homes. They target children. So evil is very, very focused on the innocence of children the innocence that children represent, because I think we could make the argument that that's God's innocence and, and the devil hates innocence so much, but definitely a child sacrifice going on here in the spiritual war, right? Oh, absolutely. I love it. I love what you're saying. It's a child sacrifice in the spiritual sense, regardless yeah. of what people are saying about in the physical, which I'm sure the physical is happening as, as well. I mean, we know, you mean, look, the 500,000 kids being uh, trafficked, a big thing. This is what Tucker was talking about right before he got uh, removed. He was yeah. saying, that, is there a collusive element to the trafficking of the open border and bringing children to the United States that are going into, you know, trafficking to be used for sexual sexuality or work purposes? I mean, they're saying uh, in multiple sources, that the open borders are serving a dual agenda. That's so dark. We don't even want to think of it. People would call me, people would say, oh, Judd, you're a radical. I'm a rationalist. I'm just watching, watching yeah. different points. And this is really happening. And then full circle to bring it back to what you're talking about. And thank you for bringing me on is these, what's going on with Hunter and the two misdemeanor counts for his tax matters. Mm -hmm. You know, they said that $11 million actually went through his hands. And then recently they also said that they were holding it, holding it up. Uh, just came on Breitbart like a couple hours ago too. It's a great read. Uh, that let me just let this. Hunter Biden demanded in 2017 he be paid by a CCP-linked Chinese businessman, Henry Zhao, why Joe Biden was sitting next to him, 
asking that he had uh, uh, in order to get uh, capital. And what we've tracked about this situation is, is there were a number of like uh, oligarchs in trouble in the Eastern Bloc. And what they would do is call up the Bidens and give them from 50 to $250,000 a month, up to $11 million to remove the justice system that freed them in their area by using uh, American influence in other countries to remove their DOJ, to contaminate their DOJ. I mean, this is what we're gonna see. I think what we're gonna see, we're seeing a federal income tax slap on the wrist. And then we're seeing a, a pre-tile diversion agreement with this gun defense, right? Buying that Colt Cobra, despite being drug addicted. So they're gonna try to wash it under the rug tomorrow. That's exactly what we know they're gonna do. They're gonna say, oh, we, we, he suffered a little bit and this is enough. Now, I think that the, uh, the octopus is coming out of the small hole. We're gonna see the, and hopefully in a just and moral society, it will lead back to Joe Biden.